The 48th annual March for Life rally kicked off on Friday, looking very different from years past. We may not be together in person this year, folks, but we can still send a very powerful message to the White House. March for Life President Jean Mancini says the theme of this year's virtual march is Together Strong, Life Unites. With all of the division and unrest, with the fear in our country, we felt strongly that this year's theme should call for a time of coming together. After the virtual rally, a small group of anti-abortion leaders made the physical march from the National Mall to the Supreme Court. One of the other differences this year is the lack of support from the White House. Last year, former President Trump spoke to the marchers at the rally. This year, President Joe Biden spent the hours leading up to the march reversing the Trump administration's anti-abortion rules. To undo the damage Trump has done. President Biden signed several executive orders on Thursday Day, including rescinding the so-called Mexico City policy. Forces U.S. taxpayers now to fund organizations that promote, lobby for, or perform abortion on demand in foreign countries. New Jersey Republican Congressman Chris Smith says he's calling on the president to reconsider that agenda. These children need the president of the United States to be their friend and advocate, not another powerful adversary. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.